MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Andrew Heaney, a left-hander out of Oklahoma, will be on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Stepping into the box, Kevin Biggio. He will lead this Leading one off, off today. The for Toronto, the right fielder, Kevin Biggio. First pitch on its way. Too low, one and zero. First pitch, one o'clock. And now this misses as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon, two and zero now. And now pitch on the way. Our game time temperature here to start play: a balmy 86 degrees at first pitch. The two one. Not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side and there's one down now. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays starting nine for this one. Who are you focused on Dan please Well you better look out for that cleanup spot. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click when he's swinging the bat. Well they just go. Bo Bichette is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1 0 home. It's yeah. in there for strike one. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. Fouled away. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. To Oscar Hernandez digging in now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Hey, down 0 2. He better be leery of this guy's nasty changeup. He has the ability to. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. <laughs> Hyunjin Ryu, the Korean lefty, will be the starter in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Matt, he reminds me, he's the closest thing that I've seen to David Wells. You watch him throw, he's 89 to 93 miles an hour. Kind of a big, loopy overhand curveball. Does have the hard slider and the changeup. A good athlete for a big guy. You'll know if he's on early. And he has stuck. to get his breaking pitches over Not to make his stop. fastball effective. Coming to the plate now, David Fletcher. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Guriel is there and he has it for the out. Well, here's a look now at the Angels starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you always have to beware of Mike Trout. He won the Hank Aaron Award in the American League. That is the best offensive player, and boy, did he put together a season. Power and average, he showed us everything last year. Number 25 is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. The windup and the 0 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. That is good. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Ryu looks in. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Counts even to Trout. 1 and 1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. 
lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Here's Randall Gritchick. They'll get us started in the top of the second. The center fielder, Randall Gritchick. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. Outside, ball. Yeah. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Drove that one into the alley for a gapper that'll bring him easily into second base. In now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. That misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here, but working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. What? Strike called, two and one. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Here's how the halos are going to line up on defense. And we have to focus on one of the best players in all of our sport. Mike Trout, center fielder. Just as fun to watch him play defense as, as it is to watch him hit. This guy gets after it with his hair on fire. It's like watching a middle linebacker play center field. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. One and two. One, two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved one, right two. through it. Try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing. And there are two away now. Now to the plate, Rowdy Tellers. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Has a look. Now the pitch. And now a soft liner to the left side. But this is a foul ball. He's set. The 0 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 and 2. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. Throw over to Pujols at first will take care of him to end the inning. One left for Toronto. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In now is Anthony Rendon. His past and history Rio. with Hunjin Ryu. He's gone three for 11. He also has one home run. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Rendon is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. 
Justin Upton comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time and it's quickly 0-2 now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And he fouls this one off. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch and he's set down on strikes for route number two. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Here's Albert now. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. And try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Drilled to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Up next is Danny Jansen. The catcher, number nine. Here comes the first pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. On a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. Didn't look to me like that was much of a protect swing with two strikes. No, he was trying to go yard, two strikes or not. Kind of looks bad if you strike out like he did, though. I'm sure his manager would have liked for him to focus on getting on base. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Boy, that's a really good pitch, Mark, right there. Down in the zone. That's one as a pitcher. You just kind of have to shake your head and tip your cap to the batter. Yeah, right there. You're looking to just either foul that off or stay in there and survive. He found a way to not only stay in there and survive, but drive it up the middle for a knock. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Hit hard up the middle. He's got it. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Down in order go the Blue Jays. Home half of the third coming up. No score. So Joe Adele bats now. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So there's the first out here in the Angels' third, and the catcher, Max Stassi, will be the next to bat. Ground ball foul down the left side. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another 0-2 home. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Jumai Jones stands in as he looks at a called strike. Ryu looks in, 0-1 on its way. One ball, one strike. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Oh, that was a big mistake right there. This guy might be their best base stealing threat in the lineup. So now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. There we go. Pitch inside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. 
with two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Into the box now, number 25. Ball one to start the at-bat. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the shortstop right there to leave his feet and try and make that throw to first base. Got to be frustrated a little bit as a pitcher. You executed your spot. Well, I tell you what, you know, I, well, as soon as you throw one like that, D-Roll, you see your shortstop get a glove on it. You're thinking, okay, maybe he has a shot to get him, but that's a long throw after that jump throw and a solid infield base hit. But the tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. Angels strand a couple. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. New inning set to get underway. And stepping up as the shortstop, Bo Bichette. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, he's really been good all game long until that one. He was definitely not trying to hit a guy when he's got two strikes on him. It just appeared that he got away from it. Next to bat for Toronto, to Oscar going, Hernandez. Going, going. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. One and one to count. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering and it's fouled away. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard to third. Rendon is there. Throw on to first, two gone. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to golf at it, but he missed strike one. Got to sit middle-middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Oh, but the feed of the shortstop is off the mark as he arrives at second without a play as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Now back. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Standing in now, Lourdes Gurriel, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he set down for the second time this afternoon. A run for the Jays thanks to the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Toronto. 
Mike Trout ready to settle in and kick off the inning. Matt Vaskersian joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak with you in the booth. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's 2 and 1. Cut fastball, and there's strike two. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing now any back. signs of intimidation with these middle-of-the-order guys. That's back-to-back -back Ks, there. and the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Justin Upton the next to hit. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Upton in a hole, 0 and 2 the count to him. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Now at the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The first baseman, number 44. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a half-hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way, and it's strike one. Guess where he's going with this next pitch? Probably a little further outside, see if the fish are still biting. A ball and a strike now. Here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Adele will wait on it. And he's got it for out number one. Now batter. Number now in the nine. box, Danny Jansen looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Missed, A ball and no strikes. One run on one three down. hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Now here it comes. Down low, and the plot thickens here. 3 and 0. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. He loses him on ball four. And that hole at bat, I feel like he really didn't want to challenge him. And I'm really surprised by that because I think this is a guy in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Joe Panic is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside 1-0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just to give him a breather, a chance yeah. to collect himself and get back to work. Count even now at one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Checks his swing oh, here, but he does that. so in time. Ah. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. 
First delivery to him on the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trout on the run. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Blue Jays held in check, but they're on top one to nothing. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Yeah. Thank you, Heidi. Called strike 0-2. And Albert swings and misses as he's set down for the first down. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Digging in, Joe Adele. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. High in the air out to center field. Under this one is Grichik, and there are two away now. Stepping in, Max Stassi. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Ball. And there's ball one. Hey, I hope that call one. doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail this one, one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. In the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And that one right down Main Street. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Now here's the pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now back. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. One and one the count now. And the pitch. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now. One and two. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive. But after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Popped him up. Jones calls for it. And the inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order. They lead it one to nothing. Ready for another chance. Jumai Jones will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, David Fletcher. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. 
The wind up and the 0 1. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. The batter. Striding forward now is the DH, number 25. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Hit down the third baseline. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Seventh inning coming up. Toronto leads this one one to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Upton going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, that's his second double of the game, and I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Banged it off the wall, and he's looking really good in this one. At the plate now, Lourdes Guriel popped him up. Who holds in foul ground? And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now Rowdy Tellez the next to bat trying to add some padding to their lead in the form of that run standing out there at second base on its way is pitch number 75 a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen the 0 1 pitch swing and a miss and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Down the first baseline. Pujols has it. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now back. Digging in, Danny Jansen. It was a walk in his last trip. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Guerrero at third with two away. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. But there to get his big glove on it is Pujols, and that'll end the inning. One left for Toronto. But they lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Mike Trout. And here's a fastball called for strike one. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And he popped him up. Panic has a play. One away. Now batter. Third base. So now the Angels Anthony. cleanup batter, Anthony Rendon. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. And this is in the air now out to left. Here comes the left fielder. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now back. Left fielder. Ready for another Justin shot now. Justin Upton. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 
Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning one two three. Biggio makes the play and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. It remains one nothing. Mike Mayers has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50. Here's Joe Panic, one for two on his line so far in the game. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout is right there, one down. There's a look at the final line for the Angels starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Well, this is one of those as a pitcher where you don't get rewarded for pitching well. He threw the ball great in this one. Didn't get much run support. He's in line for the loss, and he deserves a much better fate. He threw the ball pretty well in this one. Trout has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The bat. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Bo Bichette. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he takes ball one. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Blue Jays held in check, but they hold a one nothing lead. Ready to go for the last half of the and inning Leo. and stepping in the former MVP the Albert Pujols. Albert. Jordan Romano is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half You're of the eighth. Now pitching for the Blue Jays. Number 68. Jordan Romano. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball in there for a called strike. Fouled away. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. On a swing and a miss. And that wasn't exactly the most convincing at bat of the afternoon as he's gone on three pitches, one away. The Blue Jays are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. And he'll be very happy with how the day went. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, Max Stassi. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2-0 and now. This right-handed pitcher, his bread and butter is that two-seamer, and he loves to throw it inside. The count now at 2-1. and one. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down one nothing. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. Do up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Uh, Ball 1. 1 and 1. 
And it's fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two. Two and two. That's popped up. Jones onto the grass. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Trout has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. So stepping in, Lourdes Gurriel, over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Fouled off. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Trout. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batter. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Travis Shaw will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Travis Shaw. Shaw connects. This is sent to deep right field. It's a two-run homer for Travis Shaw. And the Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. Well, any insurance run you could put on the board this late in the game feels like two runs. That's how important they are. They're up three now and only need three more outs to end this one. See if they can close the deal. Into the box, Danny Jansen. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Upton is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Jays strike for a couple as you get another look at the two-run dinger. Last chance coming up here for the Angels. It's now 3-0 in favor of the Jays. Travis Shaw stays in the ballgame after pinch hitting as he'll take over at first base. So coming to the plate, Jemai Jones. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Anthony Bass comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. So the lineup flips over and digging in. David Fletcher. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack. But also, the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Now in now, number 25, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Biggio is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. At the plate, Mike Trout, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. One ball, no strikes to count. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this city. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. 
This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. 3-0 the final score in this one today. Toronto took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Hyunjin Ryu takes home the win. Andrew Heaney is settled with the loss after giving up only one earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Angels, no runs, three hits, no errors. They left three men on base. The winning pitcher is Yoon Jin Ryu. The save to Anthony Bass. The loss goes to Andrew Heaney. Time of the ball game, two hours and 42 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.